This is how to boost FPS and reduce input delay in all games using a tool that is built for the purpose of optimizing your windows and games for maximum performance. You can use this tool to get more FPS, fix FPS drops, reduce input latency and boost FPS in games like Fortnite, Valorant, CS2 and even more. This will work for all low-end, mid and high-end PCs as well as Windows 10 and Windows 11 helping you optimize windows for the best performance possible. So without wasting any more of your time, let's dive into it. So the very first thing that you want to do is go down into the description of this video and click on the link to get to the Hone GG website. This new optimizer is made by Hone and for those of you guys who have been following this channel for some time, you will know that I have covered some of the Hone's tools in the past as well. However, this is a completely brand new optimizer that is developed by them and is by far one of the most powerful free and premium optimizer that I have used for Windows. So once you are on this website, you can also see some of their comparisons that they have provided for different games, such as if I go ahead and select Valorant from this drop-down menu, it shows the normal average FPS as well as 1% and 0.2% lows compared to the Hone optimized ones as well. You can also go ahead and see it for different games such as Fortnite and you can see the average improvement FPS inside of here. They have also provided you with why you should be using this and some of the frequently asked questions as well. There's also a review section just so that you guys can trust them. But once you are done reading all of this, you can go ahead and click on this premium tab right here and it will get you to the pricing option. Now they do have a free version as well which is actually really good and I do highly recommend it if you cannot purchase the premium if you can't afford it but in my opinion they also have the yearly plans which are much more affordable than the monthly plans so you can go ahead and try the premium one as well because the premium one will give you a lot more options as well as better optimizations that will keep your PC at an optimal state. So whichever one you decide to go on with simply go ahead and click on the download button and you should be able to download the setup from there. Once you have honed down Downloaded, you simply once you have the setup downloaded you simply need to execute it and install hone as you would normally install any application just keep in mind that it will require you to log in with your discord or your google account so simply go ahead and do that and don't worry it's completely safe i have done it myself but now assuming that you have ran and installed the hone optimizer simply go ahead and open it up and inside of here you will be inside of the optimizations tab but the first thing that i want you to do is go inside of the system restore tab Inside of here, simply go ahead and click on create a system restore. You can go ahead and name it anything. I'm gonna go ahead and name it restore and then click on create. Sometimes this can pop up with this little error, but that's nothing to worry about because we will be creating a system restore point manually and then checking it inside of here. So simply hit close, go down to your start menu, and search for restore then click on create a restore point simply hit create go ahead and name it anything i'm gonna go ahead and name it restore p and then click on create and now that the restore point has been successfully created hit close hit ok click on this little refresh icon right here and voila it's right here now you can simply go ahead and click here to use this whenever you want going back to the optimizations tab this is where all of the good stuff is so inside of here you have two sub tabs one is the optimization the other one is the boost up but the first one we're going to be going ahead and looking at all of the optimizations you can also go ahead and filter the optimizations using different tags and it also gives you an overall system score in order to keep track of the optimizations that you have applied and their impact on the overall system performance just know that i do have the premium version so i will have a lot more options than those of you who are using the free version but even in the free version there are a lot of different optimizations that you can apply simply go ahead and follow along with me for the general windows optimizations i have already applied it and you can know what each optimization does by simply clicking on this little information icon and it will pop up with a description as well as a tag now the one thing that i really love about this horn optimizer is that the tags they provide for example the beta tag is for that it is in testing and you may encounter some problem using it when you report it and you can report it to them and then there is the power hungry which obviously tells you that this optimization will use a lot of system power and then there is the feature breaking which indicates that applying this optimization may end up breaking some system functionality however this doesn't mean that the optimization is bad it will cause some unnecessary windows functionality to not work anymore which is completely fine so starting with the general windows optimizations go ahead and apply them same thing with the optimized windows power plan which obviously if you have been watching my videos you really know the importance of a good power plan to so go ahead and apply it for the optimized message signal interrupts is the msi mode which i have highly recommended throughout my years so go ahead and apply it disable power throttling once again the same thing and make sure that you don't apply this on a weak laptop that is not even plugged in because this is going to consume a lot of power that's why it also has the power hungry tag as well for the disable windows game bar you can see that it is a feature breaking tag but you don't need to worry the only thing that it will do is cause the game bar to not work anymore which is completely fine we don't even need the game bar you can go ahead and use alternatives to record your gameplays for the disable hibernation once again it has the feature breaking as well as the power hungry tag because it's going to disable the hibernation feature and it's going to consume more power 
which is once again not a bad thing so go ahead and apply it for the remove network bandwidth limits once again this is going to allow you to remove network bandwidth limits imposed by your operating system or network settings by removing these limits you can potentially increase your network speed and improve the overall performance of your internet connection now if i start to go ahead and go through these optimizations one by one it's going to take a ton of time so i'm gonna go ahead and save you guys as well as me some time and I'm gonna go ahead and give you a general guide. So go ahead and apply all of these tweaks that are present inside of here as all of them are safe. That is for the normal users. For those of you who are more cautious about your windows or maybe you use your PC for multiple purposes, not just gaming, then simply go ahead and avoid the ones that say feature breaking. But even in those, use your judgment to see which one will work for you and which one won't. In general, on a PC, power hungry optimizations don't matter at all. You should always go ahead and enable them but on a laptop you should be cautious of enabling some of these settings as well but yeah that's it simply go ahead and apply all of the optimizations inside of the optimization tab and then we can move on to the next step which is the boost up tab now inside of here you have many options the one is the junk cleaner then optimize defrag drives then clean recent document list clean thumbnail cache and clean font cache now i did run this all today so i'm not gonna go ahead and run it once again but basically what this one will do is clean out all of the junk and since i did use it earlier today i have seen that it goes more in depth in the cleaning process than your normal optimizers so yeah i highly recommend that you go ahead and apply this one right now all you need to do is simply click on the boost performance and then it will automatically do all of the stuff as well but the optimized and defrag drives this one is recommended monthly as you can see inside of the recommendations as well and it can also take up to hours depending on your disk drives and the amount of fragmentation that is already present in them so go ahead and run it once and then use it next month or maybe two or three months later but the clean recent document list once again it's going to go ahead and optimize once again, it's going to go ahead and clean all of the recent documents in the windows, removing history of recent XX files, cleaning recent documents, and declutter the list, improves your system performance, all that good stuff. Once again, simply go ahead, click on the boost performance, and that's it. For the clean thumbnail cache, it's going to go ahead and remove all of the thumbnails that have been cached in your windows to load up those images as well as the icon images faster. So I do recommend this one as well. And finally, the clean font cache, it's really simple and self-explanatory. So you should be running all of these except the optimized deep rack drives every one or two weeks. And it's going to really help you with the overall snappiness of your windows. Then moving on to the game optimizations, and inside of here, there are specific games that you can optimize. For example, if I go inside of the Fortnite, they have two presets. One is the performance preset and the other one is the optimal preset. I only recommend using these presets when you are going to be playing that game specifically. So for the performance preset, it's going to unlock the true potential of your device and experience Fortnite like never before with our performance preset, optimizing your settings for maximum performance. And if I switch to the optimal preset, it says that enhance your Fortnite gameplay with our optimal preset, striking the perfect balance between visual clarity and maximum performance, allowing you to immerse yourself in the action. So for those of you guys who have a medium to high-end PC and want the best performance along with the best visual clarity, of course you would want to use the optimal preset. However, those of you guys who are on a really low-end PC or even on laptops, you should be using the performance preset. Simply go ahead, click on activate and then launch inside of your game. Moving on to the sum of the general settings and the first setting that I want you to disable is actually launch phone on computer startup. Most of you guys won't need it when you start up your system because you won't be launching inside of the game as soon as you start up your system. This will also save you some of the loading time and you can always go ahead and launch home before you launch inside of the game manually. Then for the admin privilege status, it only tells you that some of these settings will require you to run the home as an administrator. And as you can see, for me, it is granted. For you, if it's not, you can simply go ahead, right click, run it as administrator or refresh the status then here to check if it has been applied or not. For the open logs folder, it's going to go ahead and error logs generated by Hone. You can go ahead and join the Discord from right here and send those log files to the Hone staff in case you encounter any errors. And you can also check out what's new inside of the Hone by using the change log here and they do get frequent updates so it's really nice meaning that you will have compatibility for a really long time so yeah that's going to be the complete overview of the new hone optimizer once again you can go down into the description of this video use my referral link and download or purchase the hone i highly recommend you go ahead and give it a try at least give the try to the free version and by seeing the benefits that you have from the free version you may be convinced to buy the premium one as well with that go ahead and watch this video